Good morning, folks. We've got weather, earthquake news, ice, and deep space discoveries. We'll hit them all, but we're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day, much like the last ones. We are still without sunspots or solar flares, but we see the coronal holes dominating the disk, including the large northern opening incoming at the limb now. The solar wind calmed down a bit yesterday, will remain that way for only about two more days, and then the intensified streams from the coronal holes will begin to arrive. As it stands, we've got quiet telemetry and calm geomagnetic conditions. Let's go to the weather, and the top alert tonight by far goes to the Gulf states. By the time we wake tomorrow, the tropical system will be hitting the Panhandle and surrounding regions as it then begins to charge northward towards the Carolinas. Best of luck in the path of the storm. Want to quickly deliver a macro weather pattern you can all recognize and use? This is pressure and find a tight low, purple or red. Their draw into the pressure center steals tropical moisture, dragging it down towards the storm, or up depending on which low you chose, churning and transforming it into the thick storm clouds we recognize as inclement weather. This pattern works everywhere in the world. Let's go to California, where scientists have recognized that the earthquake sequence earlier this year broke some fault systems and created some new ones. It actually set in motion the large fault region that can connect over to San Andreas, and it has already crept two centimeters since the summer. Could be the lead up to the Southern California long-awaited megaquake. Quick little aesthetic look at the B-47 iceberg. It is breaking from the Get shelf in Antarctica. Yet another ice cube sent adrift into lower latitude waters to melt, chill, and desalinate them. Let's get out to space next and begin with the supernova, except when looking with our eyes you just see this. It's not until you look at other wavelengths that Tycho is revealed, and this is Chandra looking in X-ray. The expanded cloud can also be seen in radio, even if the X-ray components allow you to pick out the individual elements much better. And alas, very pretty sight, and with it going boom only 450 years ago, it makes you realize that many nova just aren't going to be visible very long after they boom especially if you only rely on the visible wavelength spectrum our eyes can see. This one was hiding in plain sight, and it makes you realize if it's just a smaller nova or a micronova, it might be hard to see just a century after it goes boom. Up next, big ouch for the modified gravity crowd. Super spiral galaxies spin super fast, so fast that mond and modifications to gravity are contraindicated. But that is only half the conclusion to be made here, and the other half they make is very premature. They say that the spin requires massive dark matter halos around the galaxies, which of course they can't see. And of course, they are still blind to the normal matter distribution content around those galaxies. We've been covering this in high detail. We did in our Plasma Cosmology movie, and we just saw another example earlier this week. From what our eyes can see, to the real luminous matter halos, we find that all the material is there around the galaxies to make the dynamics work. It's just very hard to see because it's so spread out, diffuse, and sparse. Now, as we watch the world's largest plasma turbulence simulations, brand new here, let us remember, it's the diffuse plasma around the galaxies that's co-rotating with them, helping the problem, and which is fed by helical filament currents from the cosmic web. And that these are the types of interactions here, the turbulence, combined with magnetic field influence that control the smaller star-forming regions, not the random chaotic gravitational collapse of molecular clouds. Folks, the right cosmology leads to the right astrophysics and the right solar terrestrial interaction profiles, and it is a key foundation. Below the video, you will find links to both the full movie and the short, easy version. You truly need one of them if you want to fully grasp the topics in these daily news and why they are all related to the solar and geophysics topics we cover. New observers, take that next step today plasma cosmology. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.